the shutdown is set to impact basically everything by that is run by the federal government, and that includes the Federal Aviation Administration. Charlotte's got a big hub with a lot of FAA workers. Chief Transportation Correspondent May Kay Beeler is here with what's going to happen once the shutdown is official, May Kay. Yeah, well, imagine showing up to do a critical job and not getting paid for it. Well, not until funding becomes available, and who knows? That could be too late for some workers living paycheck to paycheck. And that's what the shutdown would do, force air traffic controllers and TSA screeners to work without getting paid. Well, air traffic controllers are under enough stress as it is without having to come to work with the added stress of not receiving a paycheck. With the controller shortage, many controllers are already pushed to the brink, working 10-hour days, six days a week. Try doing that without pay and see how that feels. Well, the added stress of a shutdown runs the risk of controllers burning out, calling in sick, and just not showing up. And this could impact flyers with delays and safety issues. There have already been an alarming number of close calls this year at our nation's airports due to pilot and controller mistakes. As Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said today, you don't want to poke the bear. There is no good time for a government shutdown, but this is a particularly bad time for a government shutdown, especially when it comes to transportation. The consequences would be disruptive and dangerous, and so would the long-term consequences of paying the ransom to avoid it in the form of savage cuts to safety infrastructure and other priorities. Well, according to the White House, the shutdown would affect more than 13,000 air traffic controllers and 50,000 transportation security officers. Now, here in North Carolina, this includes 1,391 TSA officers and 221 air traffic controllers. It's also a stop sign for air traffic controller trainees. The FAA is short 2,500 controllers, so halting the training of new hires, that couldn't come at a worse time. I'll have more on how this could impact flights coming up at 6. Yeah, a lot of deep impact here in the Carolinas. May Kay, thank you.